friends, welcome back. Apologies that this video is so late. Uh, the video was pretty much edited. I just needed to record this intro and the outro. Um, but unfortunately, Valentine's Day night, this girl got sick and I had an entire week of being proper poorly. So I guess we'll just go with better late than never. There's a lot going on in this video. I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you at the end. actually talked about this table since receiving it as a gift I wasn't paid but I was given this table by Flexispot and I really like it I really 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 value being able to quickly and easily change between sitting and standing when working I tend to be quite a lazy person so I would quite happily just sit there all day but my body does get sore when I stay in the same position for any amount of time so being able to chop and change between the two just literally by pressing a button it's really good if you're on the fence about it, I highly recommend it. I don't think they gave me a discount code, did they? I don't know. If they did, it will be on the Flexi Spot video. Um, it might be worth just going and having a little look in the description box there. I don't know. If you're interested, go and check it out. Highly recommended. Anyway, I am doing a little order for Sue in Cheltenham. Thank you, Sue. She's ordered two gunmetal cable tidies. Let's get those packed up for you. Oh. Hang on just a second. I've just realized what this was. Uh, I've got a parcel here and I saw that it was from Owens, my coffee company that I bang on about all the time because I love their coffee so much. And when I saw the box earlier, it, it, I didn't even register actually. And I didn't even bother unwrapping it because I just assumed it was my next bag of beans. But it's not, of course, it's a topper in their lovely coffee bag. And, <laughs> oh, thank you, Lizzie, that's so cute. Um, and the leaflets, because we had run out of those. So thank you, Lizzie, thank you, Owens. Voila. I ordered on Vistaprint yesterday, I ordered some postcards, some thank you postcards, um, which will replace these funny little cards and funny little envelopes that I currently use. These are sweet, but they're a bit of a faff. And I think it's a little bit wasteful having a little card in a little envelope inside a packaging box. So this will just be um, a recycled ASICS card with just black ink on, just saying thank you. Um, and like a little bit of nonsense on there. And, and then I can just write the person's name and a quick note to them. So it'll still be personalized, but it's just, I think it's just gonna be a bit nicer than using these little cards and envelopes. And I've still got quite a few of these left. I'm not gonna use these up first. I will probably keep these just to use as little, I don't know if I need to add an extra little note to someone or perhaps a birthday message, something like that, I don't know. But yeah, I'm really excited for the cards to turn up. I designed them myself, I hope they're okay. I think they're gonna be really cute. But you'll have to wait, I guess, until the next video to see how that goes. Oh, write slowly, Jane. No, that's still pretty scrappy writing. Hi, could you get any closer to that heater? Hi, sweet baby, your face is hot, you sweet girl. How cute, isn't this? Radiator lovely. Johnny picked this up on a building site years ago. They were gonna throw it away because it was all rusted and whatever. And he's like, well, that still works. So he brought it home. Are you gorgeous? Mwah. It's a very cute delivery. You know, when I work down in that shop in Lou and there's those little fel felted fairies and mermaids and things. I just had to turn Johnny's music down though. What? because I'll get demonetized. So anyway, back to the fairies. You remember the felted fairy things? Look what I've just ordered and got through the post. I'm so excited. Da! So Tamsin, the fairy lady, has started making <laughs> wiggle baby mushrooms. And as soon as I saw it, I ordered one. I didn't even think, Jane, seriously, you don't need a mushroom 
on your shelf. I just had to order it because it's so stinky and cute. And look, it's on this little piece of wood. And I love it so, so much. Tamsin, I love them. Okay, don't judge my shelf. It's really, really dusty. But look, would you look? Would you just, would you look? Oh, precious. Oh my God, Tamsin, they're stunning. Thank you. We sat in a car wash because Myrtle is beyond filthy. She's gone past being dirty and she's actually just green now. She's covered in algae. So I've got one dude right now who's like spraying the solar panel on the roof, which is green. <laughs> and now he's watching me talk to myself not mortifying at all really is it i hate washing cars it's well worth 20 quid to get these fellas doing it <laughs> sorry if you can hear the rain it has just been the weirdest weather today it's sunday afternoon and earlier johnny and i went out for a wander around the coast and it was really really lovely it was really sunny it was really warm and then instantly the sky would go black and it would hoof it down and then it'd be bright and sunny again and it's just, it cannot make up its mind today. So I've got wet, I don't know how many times. So yesterday, Saturday, we ran this cute little kind of uh, Valentine's special. So for everybody that ordered one of the foraging bags, they got a free set of cable tidies and they went really, really well. Um, I'm now gonna stand here. I'm gonna wrap those little parcels up so they can go out tomorrow morning, Monday morning post. Um, and wing their way to their new owners, which is so cute. Thank you, everybody. Um, the week ahead, <clears throat> one of the little shops that I work in, kind of as part of my rent for them to sell my kind of goodies in their shops. So the new one that I started in December, so she's had a few weeks off, bless her. She's currently in, I think it's Norway. But anyway, she's gonna be back by Wednesday, which is the day that I'm working in her little shop in Polpero. So I'm looking forward to that one. And hopefully if the weather's all right, I'll give you a little tour of Polpero, but I'm not gonna bother if it's hoofing down. Just so you know, as much as I love you all, it won't do Polpero justice. And this is the place that is a, a little chocolate box fishing village. It's so stinking cute. Actually, if you've seen my Amazon Prime TV show, did you even know such a thing existed? Hmm? If you've seen that, uh, we actually did some of the filming in Polpero, so you already know. And if you haven't seen that, you need to watch it. I'll pop the link down below. Oh, one other thing I did earlier today was, and I'm gonna take you off the tripod. I couldn't find my little tripod, so I heard you stood on this big monster. Uh, one thing I did today was these horrible, ugly stains on our ceiling. I've gone over them with gloss paint, just as like a stain blocker. That's why there's like dust sheets everywhere, honestly. <laughs> At some point, this room will be finished, surely. I don't know how far Johnny had got with the porch slash dog's kennel. Um, when I last showed you, we're still trying to dry the floor out because this was all just flooded. I think I said that the ceiling had actually fallen down because there'd been a leak up in this top corner. So he's now insulated the ceiling and he's put this um, board up. The walls have now all been insulated. Oh no, I lie. This is insulation, this is still wall. So he's just got the dehumidifier running to try and just dry it out because we have no idea. Nobody's used this porch in years um, and nobody knew that the ceiling had come down. So you can probably see still how wet that floor is. The dog arrives two weeks this weekend. So it, there's plenty of time to get that sorted. But it just means once again that I've got all Johnny's building stuff and all. Christ. But like I said, one day it's all going to be finished and then how boring life will be. <sighs> oh, look what else I picked up today. Isn't that the cutest paper packing tape? So I'm going to use this instead of washi tape. Yesterday, this great big box of postcards arrived. Now, I don't love them. I have to just put that out there. I love the idea. I love the size. I love my work. I just really dislike the card that they've been printed on. It's the recycled card and honestly it's nasty. But we're gonna ignore that because I have 500 of them <laughs> and we're going to use them. So this is instead of those little cards and the little envelopes that I currently use. So, are you ready? I also have a big announcement here as well. Da, 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 da. 
And this here, I need to cut a slit in every one of these cards because from now on, every order will be getting a free cable tie D because then you'll just see how damn useful they are. And then everybody will be ordering hundreds of them because they're so useful. See, I'm a marketing expert, really. <laughs> So there we are, how cute is that? So please feel free to share any pictures you have of your products in use on social. 10% off for all returning customers off their next order. I have space here to write a little personalized thank you note to whoever the purchaser is. And then here is where I just thank you for being awesome and send you a little free gift. So I like them, but I just, it's really nasty and it feels like a bit shiny. It's not nice, it's not nice. And all of my other stuff that I package with is brown craft, which is mostly recycled, which is what I prefer, but um, I couldn't get, I couldn't find a brown craft A6 postcard or just an A6 piece of brown card printed anywhere. My local printer said that they would do it, but I had to buy the packs of A5 card and then it was going to be something crazy like 10p per card on top of me providing the packs of card. Uh, do you know what? I'll just go to Vistaprint and get that. So I've got to sell 500 parcels now to get rid of that box so that I can then find a new supplier with decent card because that is nasty. But we're going to use these today for the first time. <laughs> bag that was sold was by the beautiful Jennifer. You are amazing. Okay, we've got three cable tidies. We've got, we've got the wild thing. Let me make sure. <laughs> because I wouldn't want to send you the wrong bag now, would I, Jennifer? This is the lady, for anyone else that's watching, that ordered this black wild thing with green writing. She was my first ever order, and I sent her the wrong bag, so then I had to send her a second one. She's gone and ordered a third one. It's for her sister's birthday, I think. Don't tell anyone. Top secret. Right, so there's the bag, there's the strap, there's the freebie cable tidies, there's the bag charm, and there's the thank you card with the color matched freebie cable tidy oh my goodness now i just try and need to try and fit it all in this little bag cute 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 oh jennifer it's gonna be like ruddy christmas opening this <laughs> i love it oh my god this tape is too cute <laughs> beautiful look at that that's so cute
morning beautiful souls happy Monday and welcome to a shiny new week here on the farm it's gorgeous outside today really really sunny and beautiful but I don't have a very interesting day planned unfortunately and I'm still going to drag you lot along with me so apologies about that um, I've got all those parcels getting collected this morning so that's done they're on the porch ready for the postie to come and pick up and I have just borrowed this off my mama. Um, this is a carpet cleaner extraordinaire. So today I'm gonna clean this. It's disgusting. Let me show you. Oof. These cushion covers I took off and washed as soon as we brought it home. So look at the color of that and then look at the color of that. This is grubby. So I'm gonna get all the cushions off I'm gonna work out how the heck this thing works. It's an absolute beast. Um, and then I'm just gonna hopefully suck all the dirt out of the bulk of this sofa. Cause like when you sit on it, like neither of us really wanna to touch the arms. Um, and currently because we've still got the dehumidifier going in there to dry the concrete and the wood out, it would be a really good time to actually get this done. Um, and it can all just dry together. Okay, mistake number one, I just filled up the wastewater tank with clean water. This is not where the clean water and detergent goes, okay? That goes in the one that says clean water tank. Okay? Okay. Err. Currently feeling like this is way above my pay grade. Like way above. disgusting. I am sweating. It's not coming up as clean as I was expecting or would have liked. At least now I know when I sit there that it's clean dirt. If you catch my drift. It's taking about half an hour I guess to do that one arm and when I go back over it not pushing more water in but actually just drawing more water out, I'm still getting a little bit of water out so I do need to spend some more time on that one arm. But first I need to go and eat some breakfast because it's given me an appetite, boys and girls. Okay, sofa is cleaned. Still looks filthy, so at least I now know that it's like staining that's left as opposed to dirt. Actually saying that, it does look better. And there is still some moisture in there, which obviously as that dries out, hopefully it will look even better. But that was a surprising little workout. <laughs> I'm shattered. Good morning, lovelies. I've got up very, very early because I want to come and show you something. I don't know what is going on with this lighting, this camera. No clue. Anyway, I'm down in town and it's going to be an extremely high tide this morning. And I wanted to show you the state that our town gets into on a very high tide. It's kind of horrifying. And actually, let me just spin the camera around. So here I am in Myrtle and oh, look, the boats are all at <laughs> the same level as me. I'm not sure if you can actually see there's inches between the top of the water and the top of the wall there. Let me go get a ticket for Myrtle and then we'll have a little wander. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I needed a bath.
morning. Did you get hit bad? Um, well, it's coming in now, yeah. Right beauties, that's it for another day. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, because my video schedule now is completely upside down because of taking that week off poorly sick, uh, the next video that you see will all be about our new hound joining us. So um, hopefully I will see you next week for that one. Have a great week guys. Mwah.